Sun Bonani Moilweni, hi Seven Land viewers. The past storylines have been riveting and quite energy filled. And all that has to do with directing. Today I am with Neo M. Matsunyane, one of our directors here at Seven Land. He directed um, the fatal accident of Xander, the funeral of Daniel and Xander, and Vince and Eggie's wedding and the bed and and Jatta's the fatal hospital saga and many more and many more hello Neo hello, welcome thank you. here thank you very much thank you very much <laughs> so Neo Masingenim Tolwen give us a bit of a background on your work span in the film and the television industry sure um I started off as an actor a long time ago. I can't even remember how long that was. But um, I knew that I always wanted to direct films. So I started off acting and also worked as a production assistant, the production runner. I used to make tea, do all sorts of nasty things, clean toilets, because I knew I had a dream and I wanted to be a film director. And uh, I held on to it and I had, was fortunate enough to have a mentor who also took, me, uh, took it upon himself to train me as a director. Oh, and nice. uh, mm -hmm. yeah, today uh, I've been working and I've directed so many things. I've been working on Skim Sam, I worked oh, yeah. on and my Deep Blue Dudes was my first drama that I directed as, a, as an individual, single cam. And uh, yeah, I've directed so much stuff, I don't know where to start. <laughs> but now I'm here on Seven Land and I'm still having fun. Oh, okay. So on that <laughs> note, how did your career, the journey here at Seven Land came about? Um, <clears throat> I was actually unemployed for quite a while. And I got a call, for, yeah, I got a call like, hey, man, they're looking for someone here at Seven Land. Would you come in and uh, have a chat with us? And uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, perfect mm -hmm. timing. And I came in and we spoke. I guess I, I made a good impression, and uh, <laughs> but I guess the quality of my work also hopefully spoke for myself, for me. And uh, yeah, I got a job here. It's been a year and a half almost. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> you saying you knew, you always knew that directing is what you wanted to do. Yeah, I've always known that I want to be a creator and not part of a creation. Oh, okay. In as much as I wanted to learn, so I put myself out there to learn as much as I could behind the cameras, just mm -hmm. so I can gain enough knowledge to put me where I am today and hopefully even take me further. Okay. So on that note, now, just describe to us just a typical day behind the scenes. Um, most of my behind the scenes work <clears throat> is actually done at home. That's where, when I read my script, that's when the pictures come in and that's where I do most of my hard work. I work at home, I play at work. Oh, okay. That's why I'm always having fun, I'm always laughing because the greater part of my job was at home when I was alone and making sure that those shots and everything that I plan works and that it looks right on television when you watch it. So, no wonder, so, yeah, I no have fun wonder, here no because wonder. I'm playing. <laughs> Rumor has it. <laughs> You are the Young Globe's favorite director. Why do you think that is? Um, this, well, <laughs> <laughs> don't always believe rumors because that's not all I heard. You know, even the older actors, apparently, there's some of them, mm -hmm. um, quite a number of them, actually, they mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. But I think the Young Globe is also because I'm quite energetic and I can oh, meet yes. them on their level. And so it's kind of intimidating for someone with so much gray hair <laughs> to have so much energy that matches theirs. So it kind of has a nice vibe about it because there's a youthful spirit in there, I guess, that they can identify mm -hmm. with. And they're like, eh, there's that young man in there that they can know that they can always step into. But it also helps me <clears throat> establish trust with my actors to say, you need to trust me with your performances in that yes. uh, I'm going to make you look as good as I possibly can on screen if you trust me with my composition. Oh, oh. <laughs> am I privileged now? <laughs> yeah. So, Neo, because you've been in the industry for so long, yeah. yes, for, for people watching this out there, mm -hmm. what is your best like financial advice you would give them? You know, it's always good to save money, but at the same time, this year being 2020, the concept of money has changed. Whether it's for good for the better, but a lot of people realize that even with the amount of money they had saved, they were still vulnerable to the world. 
So that also changes one's perception around money and financial matters. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't save just because our perspective has moved from more financial to be more spiritual. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. What can I do? <laughs> so, mm-hmm. now let's get to know the real Newa M. <laughs> Just 60 seconds to see what he is about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Newa. Yeah, whiskey or coffee? Oh, both. Oh, <laughs> okay. oh definitely. Okay. Coffee in the morning, whiskey when I come back from home. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jeans or suits? Uh, both. Jeans when I'm at home, but suits when I come to work. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Beach or nature? I love nature more. The beach, you know, apparently some people don't swim, but uh, <laughs> I, I do. But people. Uh, people are, yeah, you know, I love my nature though. Okay. Okay. Pizza or burger? Um, I cheat once on a burger once a month, but I do love my pizza sometimes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good believe you. Mm-hmm. Car or motorcycle? <laughs> tricky. I'm an, I'm a, no, it's not tricky. I'm an adrenaline freak, so I love motorcycles, but obviously I need to have a car for those days when you don't feel like breaking the law. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Summer or winter? I'm a summer person. Winter, I don't like. Winter, you have to put on five layers of kilograms, and then you start walking like a penguin if you're my size, you know, because you can't cope with it. No, no, no. I'm definitely a summer person. Summer person. Yeah, I like showing off some skin. Would you like... Oh, well, no, 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 <laughs> Morning or evening? I wake up very early in the mornings and I sleep very late in the evening. So I sleep maximum about four or five hours. So yeah, that's me. Okay. That's the NH. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sleep flops or tickets? Ah, uh, definitely tickets or barefoot. And I, I like connecting and earthing with Oh, okay, okay, but, uh, let's leave it. When I'm working, definitely techies. I love my sneakers. <laughs> As you can see, Matum. Oh, you know. Matum. Yeah. I did not expect that much. Oh, I, I was trying to tattoo, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. I hope you also got a glimpse of the director's life behind the scenes at Seven the Line. And thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Don't blood. <laughs> and please remember to tune in every Monday to Friday, 6 p.m. SABC. True. True.